Hey guys, I'm sharing with you the books that I got in my recent book outlet order. Hey guys, real quick, I want to tell you about my new curriculum. It's here as a character, and it is a character-based curriculum that you can use during morning time, tea time, or at bedtime. It seamlessly blends science, nature studies, heroes, history, and character traits and skills that you want your kids to learn. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, head over to my website. It's downhomewithlemonpie.com and check it out for yourself. Okay guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home With Lemon Pie. And um, if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I'm a Christian stay-at-home homeschool mom of six kids. Um, my oldest two are 10 and eight. Um, those are my girls. My boys are six and five, and then I have twin two-year-olds. And I wanted to show you guys um, what I got in my recent book outlet order. Um, okay, so the books that I got, I actually got for 50% off, um, give or take, of the price that I'm going to tell you because I was able to um, use some of their refer a friend points um, on top of the sales they already had going and that is why they were um, an additional discount. So if you are not familiar with Book Outlet, I recommend you go check them out. I have a link below in the comments or in the description of this video where you can um, check it out and see if it's something that's going to work for your family. But I'm going to tell you right now for our family, it has been a huge blessing. We have been able to get a ton of great finds, um, books that you really, really want your kids to read. Um, I'm talking about books that are in all of the lists. We homeschool, so we follow closely the homeschool book list. Um, I'm talking about the ones that are by Sarah McKenzie, like the Reading Revival. I'm talking about the ones in Good and Beautiful. I'm talking about Sunlight's book list, um, Ambleside, um, <clears throat> Heart of Dakota, My Father's World, which is actually the curriculum that we use. But just all of the book lists that you see of books that are good, good quality literature um, that doesn't have sass, doesn't have, um, you know, kids being disrespectful to their parents or other things that you just don't want your kids to teach. These are books that are good quality things that you want them to um, have in their lives. So I'm going to share with you guys what I found um I hope that you guys find this helpful, and if you do, please like and share the videos. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first book I have for you guys is Molly's Pilgrim. Um, it's a short, like, little beginning uh, chapter book, I guess. It's not even really chapters, but it's done like chapter book with the, with the smaller font. And so... It's just a small one. It's about, obviously, a girl named Molly, Pilgrims, Thanksgiving, that kind of feel. And it is on all those lists that I was just telling you about. I'm going to tell you for all of these books the price that they were listed at, um, not the price that I paid. Because the way their system works on their invoices, it's um, it doesn't really show you where the coupons were. So it's sometimes kind of hard to remember, was it this sale or was it that sale? Um, did I use this many coupons or this coupon or whatever? So I'm just going to tell you what the list price was because that's what I have here. That's what shows up on your invoice. Okay, so this one was listed at $1.69. Okay, guys, the second one I have is Trail of Tears. It's a level five um, historical reader. These I love. I seriously love all of the historical readers because um, this is like history and reading in one. So I love that so much. We can conquer two things at once, but the the quality of it is great. The... Um, the pictures are good and it's not too much information at a time and it's told at a child's um, level that is truth. So I love, love, love getting these historical readers. You can see them, they're always marked right there. A history reader, step into reading. Um, level five is like a higher level. So that would be, um, depending on where your child's reading, um, generally I would say probably like a second, third grade, maybe fourth grade level. It just depends really how quickly your child's progressing in reading. Um, but somewhere in that range. So anyway, got that one. This one I paid, let's see, $1.60, which is a huge, huge, huge deal. 
Okay, guys, the next one is George Washington's Breakfast by Jean Fritz. This has been, like I said, all of these guys have been recommended on all of those book lists. So I was excited to get this one. We've actually already done um, American History. We did it last year and the year prior. And, um, but we come back around to it and it won't be very long. And this one in particular is a picture book. So it's at a level that I can actually assign this on top of our normal studies, just as a reading assignment that I want the kiddos to learn and read. But um, it's always been recommended, so I wanted to grab it. Okay, so this one I paid $3.05. Okay, so the next one I got, guys, is Blaze Finds Forgotten Roads. This is the first one that I have added to our library that is a Blaze book. Blaze, um, there's a ton of them in this series, and I knew what to expect before it came. I knew it was going to be a, an old fashioned story about a boy and his horse. I knew it was gonna be great and perfect for my boys that are six and five. Um, so I, I knew that I was gonna love it. Um, these also are kind of harder to find a little bit. So I was excited to get this one. Right now though on Book Outlet, they do have several of these on there. So um, if this looks like something you might be into, but it's just about those wholesome values that you want for your little boys. You want them to grow up to be men and that is exactly what this is doing. Um, also, let me just add in, all of these books guys are in perfect condition and my understanding of Book Outlet is that it's sometimes um, slightly damaged things or, um, overstock or that kind of thing. And I haven't had, I've had one book in my very first order that was not at the quality I would have preferred, but the rest guys, I've done several orders since then and they have all been beautiful and perfect. These are cheaper than you can get them like on um, some of those homeschool buy sales groups like on Facebook and things. These are cheaper than that. That Blaze book, well, I got it for $3.89. That's one of the more expensive ones that I purchased. But again, like I said, it's kind of a hard one to find, the Blaze books I'm noticing, so I was excited for that. Okay, I also picked up four of the books from Horse Diaries. Um, we've not tried these before, but my understanding from looking at the Good and the Beautiful's recommendations is that these are going to be so good for our family. I have girls that love horses, and what I really like about these is that they are historical fiction. So they will tie in nicely with several of our lessons. And even if not, they'll just be good ones for them to read and um, just in increase their knowledge. So let's see, I picked up Lily. This one is 1939 in South Wales. I picked up Yatima, which is the Arabian desert in the ninth century. Um, Maestro, Maestoso Petra, did I just butcher that? It's Vienna, Austria, 1938. Uh, this one is actually during World War II. And this one is California, 1853. Um, it's Penny and it's during the gold rush. You can kind of see in the background what the book is going to be about. But they have tons of them, and I'm excited to add more of those to our collection. I know my girls are going to love them. I'll just show you real quick kind of how they look on the inside. There you go. Okay. Okay, the next one I picked up is Baby Island. I had seen this recommended in one of the Facebook groups that I'm a part of um, recently several, several times, and I knew that my girls are going to love it. I'm probably going to do it as a read aloud. I don't know when. Um... But basically, from what I understand, these two girls um, somehow end up stranded with four babies on an island, and they kind of become the caretakers. I have little girls that love babies and love that kind of thing, like taking care of other kids and babysitting, all of that. So they are going to fall in love with this. It's by the same author as Katie Wood Woodlawn, so if you're familiar with that one. Um, but anyway, I'm excited for this, and I paid, for this one, I paid $3.29. Guys, on those buy sell trade groups, I see books like this in used, very used condition for like three bucks. So these are around the same price, but brand new. So I, I gotta say, guys, if I haven't already convinced you, go below into the description of this video and click the link and go and find your, your favorites. All right, I got Canterbury Tales. We haven't um, read this one before. I haven't read it personally, 
Um, and we're not actually studying this time period until the year after next, but for the price that I paid, which was, let me see, um, two seventy nine guys, two seven two bucks. So for the price I paid, I, I just wanted to grab it. It's in, like I said, great condition. It's beautiful. So I'm excited to add it. I'm probably going to read this before we read it together. Okay. I picked up four of the childhood of famous Americans. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I sort of, um, have started collecting these. I already had, um, picked up Milton Hershey last order, or maybe it was two orders ago, but this time I picked up five more guys. I'm so excited about these. Um, let's see. Clara Barton is the first one. It says founder of the American Red Cross and I paid $2.79 guys, $2.79. And these are beautiful. They're just so good. And if you look on the back, you see all those writing, all that writing? Those are all the ones you can collect. So you can literally find pretty much anything from American history, whatever you're studying, you can find a book like this. So I was excited to find these on Book Outlet. Okay, I also got Elizabeth Blackwell, Girl Doctor. Like I said, I have older girls, so I'm excited for them to have some people in their lives that they can uh, look up to. This one was $3.29. Okay, Robert E. Lee, Young Confederate, perfect, perfect for my boys. Um, it was $2.29. Molly Pitcher, Young Patriot, who doesn't want that, right? Uh, I paid $2.55 for this one. And Davy Crockett, Young Rifleman, again, another Another little hero for our boys, and it was two seventy nine. Okay, guys, the next one I got is letters from Rivka. This one is um, was actually listed in our curriculum for this year as a book that our kids could read, but I didn't assign it. I didn't own it, and I didn't assign it. I wanted to read it first. Um, it kind of has some of that. I'll just read you real quick. Rivka knows nothing about America. She flees from Russia with her family, um, the harsh treatment of Jews. So you kind of get the idea of where this is going. Um, but anyway, this is this is on several, several book lists. You'll see it again and again, recommended. And I paid $3.29, so there you go. I'm trying to collect all of those classics for our kiddos because something is telling me that those may be disappearing soon, so. All right, I got 21 balloons. This was actually listed in our current curriculum to read during the, um, I think during India. And I'm not doing it then, but I am gonna do it. It was also listed in Heart of Dakota when we did Heart of Dakota. So I was excited to finally add it. And I paid $3.29. I see this one recommended several times over. Um, it's not recommended in Good and the Beautiful. You can go there and find out. Um, I think she lists why, but I think I'm still going to be using it and at least reading it. Maybe as a read aloud so I can kind of look it over. Okay, who was Abigail Adams? You see that price sticker at the top, $5.68. That's not what I paid. I paid, you're not going to believe it, $2.29, guys. I paid $2 for this, the Who Was books. Um, we've read several of them. I will tell you that several of them that we have read have been a little bit left leaning. So if that is not something that you are into, um, it kind of catches you off guard. So that is something I am hoping I don't see in this one. But if I do, I've been doing these as a read aloud to kind of avoid that. So anyways, um, yeah, got that one. I also picked up Where is the Serengeti? Again, this one had a little bit, we already read this. You can see it in my um, Africa video and also my homeschool update February video for this year, um, the Serengeti. It was really good until we got about to the last two chapters and then it had kind of an agenda going on there. But other than that, it was $2.79, not bad for good stuff as far as the beginning of it was going. Um, the majority of the book was really good. So, Okay, Journey to Joburg. I talk about this one in our Africa video. I also talk about it in our February homeschool update video if you want to see what we thought about it after we read it. But um, let's get to what I paid. I paid $3.29. It's about two kids that are um, traveling on their own to um, Johannesburg in Africa. And they are just about, what, 
what they see, what they experience, how life is. And it surprised me. It had some things in it that I didn't expect, but that was good for us to learn. Okay, I did pick up How to Hide a Butterfly. This one I paid pretty much nothing. Mm, $1.60, guys. $1.60. Um, it's kind of just, you know, about bugs and camouflage. This one is actually listed in the current edition of My Father's World um, kindergarten. So I was excited to add that. I have a kindergartner that's going to start next year. We're not going to do that exact curriculum. We're going to do something a little bit on independent. So um, I'll share with you about that later, but I'm excited to add it because I do still take a lot of those recommendations that I see in those curriculums and I do still use them in our home. All right, guys, we're to the last two books. I know you're excited. Um, people, I got People. It's by Peter Spire. If you aren't familiar with this author, it is so good. This one used to be a recommendation for kindergarten with My Father's World. I don't know why they took it out, um, but I'm excited to have it because we are going to still add it back in. I may even use it during um, our current curriculum because it has stuff about like people around the world and we're doing exploring countries and cultures. So we've been learning a lot about that. Um, but it's just about how people are different, things that people do um, that's different from other people, people around the world, people, different cultures, just people in general. Some people have glasses, some people don't, whatever. Um, so I'm ex super excited to add this. I think it's going to be really good for like diversity and those kinds of topics. And the very last one, guys, this is the most expensive book that I purchased. And I'll tell you right away, I paid $5 for this. So the most expensive book I got was $5. Um, it is pop. I'm going to use it as a fun unit study, probably in the summer, like a fun summer lesson. Um, we'll probably do that. It's um, it's about the invention of bubble gum. I'm excited to read this. Maybe we'll pick up some fun, um, all different kinds of bubble gum or maybe some old fashioned stuff or whatever. I don't know really what we're going to do, but I'm excited. I, that's why I wanted to get this one. I love things that are about um, books about like inventions or how things were made. So I'm excited to add this one. All right, guys, that is the whole collection. If you have not already checked out my curriculum that I created, it is on my blog. I know I talked about it at the beginning of this video, so you can see it, but the, the um, link is right below if that is something that you're interested in. Otherwise, guys, if you're not following us on Facebook and Instagram, if you haven't already subscribed, do it now, and I will see you guys next time.